What's up, guys? Um, today I'm gonna be explaining to you how to do the uh, exter um, external sort, external merge sort. Um, it's called. So we're gonna be doing here. Let's just write it. Um, external. Ex oh my gosh, dude! External merge sort. It's also known as external sort. So let's say. This, this 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 merge sort sorry this external sort is really good to take a lot of data for example if you only have three gigabytes of of ram and uh you have like one terabyte of data that you have to sort somehow sort well you cannot just put everything into your ram because it doesn't fit however we can use the external sort to do this and it's quite interesting how it works. So let's start off with that. Right here, we have two little blocks. So we're gonna start, we're not, we're not gonna go crazy and take gigabytes of data, gigabytes, sorry, it's gigabytes, not gigabytes, whatever. It's just sorry, this is my first language is Spanish, that's why I say giga, but it's whatever. So in this case, we have uh, this little box, which uh, is gonna stand for our RAM. So this is gonna be the RAM available, right? And this is gonna be, uh, just our digits uh, found in their disk, so to speak. Hard disk, you know, hard disk, where we have a bunch of space, right? But we want to sort these values, right? Normally when we sort these values, we just take all the values, we put them into a RAM so we can work with them, and then we have our sorted array or, or sorted data, so to speak. But in this case, imagine this, well, this, as you can see, doesn't fit in here. Uh, so it's the same um, under, uh, understanding concept of, hey, my RAM is not like able to take all of this data at the same time. So what can we do? Well, we do external sort and we do the following. So let's take, for example, that we have the following thing just like this. We'll just do it till here so we can understand it. So the first thing is we have our HDD and from our HD, we have all the data, right? So from there, we're gonna make blocks. We know that our RAM is made out of four blocks, so that's what we're gonna divide it in. So we divide this whole thing into four blocks each. As you can see, we get three chunks, you know, three chunks. We get an, or an orange one, a red one, and a pink one. And they're all designed so they can fit in our RAM. The next thing we're gonna do right is that's this is called a splitting phase uh so the splitting phase is basically just splitting the data that we have into different blocks right once we have our blocks we're gonna go one at a time so we take for example the first one's gonna be orange goes in here and then we sort this this um this block within our ram so we're gonna sort it sort with in uh ram so we're going to use any sort method you can use, like quick sort, uh, maybe, I don't know, merge sort, or I don't know, insertion sort, bubble sort, any type of sort you want, we use here, right? So any type of sort we want to do, we do here. So we sort them by order, and we do the same thing for every block. So we go first with this one, we put it in the RAM, and then we sort it. And once we have our sorted arrays, uh, we'll have the following, right? We'll have the following. As you can see, we first take our orange thing, put it in here. So it will look something like, yeah, we have the values here. Now we sort them. And once we sort them, we write them again into the block in our hard disk. So here it is, right? Two, three, eight, ten. Same thing for the for the red chunk and the pink chunk. That's it. Now, you have this and you're like, great, but now I, I still don't have the listed the listed data, you know? How can I do that? The not the listed data, but the list of data in a in a in um fixed way, in a I'm gonna call this in um sorted way. So what we do now is we do the merging phase, which looks like this. Now we're gonna gonna actually gonna work together to do this. So we take the smallest number from every single, um, I'm gonna call this uh, 
what chunk, you know? So from chunk from the orange chunk, we take the va smallest value, in this case two. From our red chunk, we're gonna take the smallest value one. And then from our pink chunk, we're gonna take the smallest value that's four, right? After that, we're gonna take now the smallest value of these guys, right? Um, we don't really take the smallest value from here, right? I was mistaken, it's more like the first value that we get. So um, we get this, the first value, we put it here. Second val the first value of the red chunk, we put it here. The first value of the pink chunk, we put it here, right? So now, in this case now, uh, we actually take the smallest value that we find. So the smallest value that we can find is one. So this is our list. Imagine we have our list, which is in white, and we write, we're just gonna write one, right? I will keep it color coded so you guys can keep up. So one, right? Now, uh, now that one is there, we erase it from our from our stuff. Let me just do this, this, and this. We erase it from our from our list from our RAM, and we're gonna add the next one of that pertaining chunk, meaning it was one, right? And it was in the red chunk, so we're gonna add the next value of a red chunk, meaning five. So we add five, right? Now we do the same thing. Put in the smallest value. So in this case, we're gonna put two. Erase a two from here, right? And now take the next value from the orange chunk. So three, right? Now again, Take the smallest value from our RAM, which in this case is three again, well, orange chunk again, and we remove three from here, and we remove three from here. Okay, cool. Now we add the next value, so it's gonna be eight, right? Eight. We take the smallest value within our RAM. In this case, it's gonna be four, so we write four. Perfect. And now we just erase it from here, and now we're gonna add six, right? So we can now just erase this, so to speak. Now, we have a uh, five, six, eight. We're gonna take the smallest value. In this case, it's five. So we're gonna write here five. So we erase five and we put seven, right? Seven. <clears throat> Same thing, six now. We're gonna take six once again. So the pink one. And we don't add anything as we have finished with that block. We continue. Okay, now the smallest value in here is seven. So we're gonna put seven in there. And we're gonna erase it from here. And we're gonna add nine, right? At nine. Cool. Now the next value is gonna be eight, right? So we write write eight. Eight. Delete it from here. And we add ten. Now the smallest value is gonna be nine, so we we add nine, we remove from a RAM, and then again, now just 10. And we remove from a RAM. And as you can see, we have our sorted list of numbers. Um, and now, even though we did have, like we didn't have enough space in RAM, we're able to actually put every single of these numbers inside our RAM. So that's how external, Sort works, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful for you.